Rodenbach Alexander. Um, I had been going to the stuffed sandwich for a long time in San Gabriel, and I've uh, been hanging out with Sam. I asked him for Rodenbach Grand Cru a couple weeks prior because I'd read about it in a blog. Um, this was probably 2001. And uh, we were talking about it, and I said, hey, I'd really love to try that at Rodenbach Alexander, the, the cherry beer they don't make any longer. And he said, yeah, yeah, good luck, you know, uh, forget it, you know, whatever, there's no more of that. Uh, one day I was sitting at the stuff sandwich. I had a band in from uh, St. Louis that was on tour, and we went there because they wanted to drink good beer. And uh, Sam said, is it time for one more or is it time to go after we'd had a few? And I said, oh, I think I'm done. And he said, no, no, it's time for one more. And he walked out with a brown bag and inside it was a, a bottle. And he poured me some and he said, do you know what this is? And I saw the, the white foil, which was the, the label. And I said, yeah, it's Rodenbach Alexander. And he said, it may be or it may not be, we'll see. And so uh, I tried it and that's, that's probably one of my best experiences with beer. I had four really close friends and they had never seen anything like that or done anything like that. And it was just nice to enjoy that. <laughs> so yeah, Rodenbach Alexander at the Stuff Sandwich.